and uh, his his group would go in. They were very militant back then. You know, there was a lot of r racial tension going on, but he was uh, very much like the Muhammad Ali in his karate community because he could he could he would take the mic from the promoters and challenge everybody. So it wasn't like he was just talking. I mean, he wanted to fight anybody that would fight him and would go in and all of his fighters would dominate all the New York tournaments, win all the tournaments. And uh, so he talked to Don King and Don King got him under contract and he had a whole entourage and everything. He had a suite in the Rockefeller Plaza Center. And, uh, but you know, they called me, they wanted me to fight him. Of course, back then I was light heavyweight, but I was about 175 pounds. And uh, Kareem was probably about 220 at the time, 6'3". Pretty, pretty good sized guy. I mean, real good technician, splits, kicks high. You know, I mean, he, he looked the part. He looks pretty deadly. And he was spar he sparred with Muhammad Ali. He was one of his sparring partners, so they knew he could fight. So I think they were just looking for a way to showcase him. Four days before that fight, I get 11 stitches over my left eye in training. I had uh, Joe Corley brought uh, Jerry Rome up to Washington, D.C. to be my sparring partner for those three weeks. And uh, we were fighting with those old June Reed gloves, the big ones. And Jerry threw a, a right cross and I slipped and it just grazed my eye. Didn't bruise it, swell it, but it sliced it. Had 11 stitches put in it four days before. So we thought that they were going to cancel the fight. We had a press conference on Thursday before the fight was on a Saturday. I got the cut on Sunday. So on Thursday morning, we went and had the stitches taken out so they couldn't see it. Went to Elizabeth Arden and had a professional makeup job on it. Joe Corley and Mike Anderson uh, were both at the press conference there in Washington, D.C., the uh, Touchdown Club, which is a big sports uh, club in D.C. And uh, they had the lights and the TV cameras and they were doing all the interviews and everything. And I'm getting ready to go up on the podium to talk, and they were getting ready to introduce me. And it's hot under the lights, so I, I'm wiping the sweat off, and I want wipe a glob of the makeup off. And now there's a big hole in the side of my eye. And Mike Anderson is right beside me, and he didn't know about the cut. We didn't tell anybody because they would end up canceling the fight, put somebody else in. Of course, Mike Anderson looks over and goes, "Jeff, is that a cut on your eye?" <laughs> So we're going, shh, shh, quiet. So we went and put the makeup on it. And it was on my left side and I was, I fought mainly off of this side. So now I have this cut on this fight. So I fought that side for the first three rounds. He threw one jab and it opened up. So I ended up fighting the rest of the fight off the other side, but ended up winning a, a unanimous decision on that fight with the, uh, which is quite a lot with the, uh, when you have Don King's judges, you got, uh, I had Asa Gordon, who was uh, one of the best corner cut men, and he was in my corner. Uh, it was the first time they ever did a world champion karate with the world champion boxing with Don King, was of course the promoter. And uh, 50 million people viewed that fight. It went worldwide on closed circuit TV. We shot it live from Washington DC Capitol Center, which was the biggest sports arena in the whole area. It seated about 30,000 people. So uh, it, it got uh, kickboxing a lot of publicity. Hello and welcome to this historic retrospective coverage of the Jeff Smith Kareem Ala fight from 1975 brought to you by the Joe Lewis Fighting Systems. I'm Mark Graydon and joining me is Mike Anderson, the man you see in front of you, who is the original ring announcer for the fight. Mike, welcome to the fight. Uh, yeah, hi Mark. It's uh, really interesting to look back over a 32 year span and see this very uh, historical fight. It was historical because this was the first time they ever had a satellite hookup, so this was viewed uh, uh, by 50 million people, making it uh, the most viewed kickboxing or martial arts match in history. Amazing, amazing numbers of people saw this fight. You were told by the text that when they turned the satellite image on, first thing that they saw was your face. Yes, I think I was the... Uh, 
first person to speak to a live audience all over the world. So it was very, it was very exciting. Uh, this is uh, the first part of the, uh, this fight is the first part of the Thriller in Manila uh, production, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. There were three parts of this. This was part one. Um, part two were two world title fights out of New York, and the show uh, culminated with the title fight, Muhammad Ali uh, versus Joe Frazier. Now we see uh, Jeff Smith in the corner with Asa Gordon, uh, his coach, uh, preparing his gloves for the match. And of course on the right is Joe Corley. Uh, of course we always recognize his hair. And right there with a black belt club jacket on was Jerry Rome, who was Jeff Smith's sparring partner throughout the, the 70s and a, a fantastic fighter in his own right. Uh, Jeff Smith's sparring partner. Jerry went on to become the heavyweight, uh, the Waco heavyweight champion of the world on three different occasions. Uh, it's interesting to see all this footage. We're actually going to go all the way through with all this, this historic footage. And uh, people haven't viewed this fight in, in many, many years. And we're very excited to be bringing it to you. We'll see uh, many people that we'll recognize uh, in this, uh, uh, this presentation. Uh, it was a long time ago, and it's interesting how many of the people who are central to kickboxing back then are still central today. Then here's Kareem Allah coming to the ring. Uh, tell us a little bit about Kareem Allah, Mike. Uh, Kareem, uh, Kareem Allah is, uh, is a martial artist, uh, a traditional uh, martial artist. He's one of the uh, prominent teachers, really, uh, in the United States. As a matter of fact, uh, a young man named Kevin Thompson who they call K.A., short for Kareem Allah, uh, number one, uh, went on to become uh, the world champion. That's right, Kareem Allah, the, uh, the instructor of little K.A., Kevin Thompson. Uh, I was actually on the team in 1990 in Venice, Italy, where Jeff Smith was the coach, and uh, little K.A. was there also on the team. And there was a lot of talk about uh, this fight uh, during that time, and it was 15 years later at the time. It's interesting, Jeff Smith uh, has had many of the most um, historic bouts in all of kickboxing. Some of the most memorable fights uh, ever have come from Jeff Smith, including his two historic bouts with uh, Wally Slokey, and of course his very controversial uh, only loss uh, versus uh, Dan Macaruso. And of course, this fight is probably the jewel in the crown of his uh, great fight history. Yeah, Jeff was uh, undefeated at this time, and uh, he went for several years being undefeated. I'm not really familiar with his uh, ultimate loss. We see over there the official is Dr. Mong Yi, who is uh, still active today. And. Um, That's right, he is the senior mentor for the Joe Lewis organization, and he's, he's the man who brought Burmese Bando to the United States. You see him on the right side of your screen. Uh, he is the center referee, a, an amazing martial artist in his own right. Uh, I see him at the Joe Lewis conference every year, and he's pushing 80 years old, and he's absolutely amazing the way the guy moves. And uh, he's just a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, I, I was uh, mentioning before about Karimala having a... Uh, traditional martial arts background, which he does, but he also has a background as a boxer. And uh, this is what uh, actually qualified him for the fight, his, his boxing uh, and his overall martial arts and boxing prowess. That's right. This uh, should be known that he was actually handled by Don King at the time, and this fight was set up actually to showcase Kareem Allah. Yes, it was. Uh, this was put together by Don King's people, and this, of course, is... Uh, a Don King uh, production. He's a tremendously talented uh, martial artist, as you'll see, and it's a great matchup. Jeff Smith in the uh, gray and green with the green stripe, and Kareem Allah with the red pants and the red uh, belt on, and the yellow. Uh, I guess those are Junri karate chops. Correct. Yes, they're wearing. Uh, uh, back in those days, uh, we wore the rubber gloves which of course uh, nowadays boxing gloves are, are used in place of the uh, rubber gloves. Uh, Jeff Smith is, uh, you're gonna see a very powerful fighter in Jeff Smith. He's one of my favorites. 
He's a very, very powerful kicker and a, and a powerful puncher. And stamina is his middle name. This man is not going to get tired. That's right. I, I've seen just about every one of Jeff Smith's fights, and he had many fights that went well into the later rounds. And, and uh, as we'll see, his conditioning is absolutely impeccable. Uh, he has uh, always been known for having his legs underneath him and being very agile and, and in control well into the later rounds. And this, show, this fight is a showcase of, of that conditioning. And here we are with round one. As you can see, uh, Jeff Smith's giving up uh, quite a bit of weight here. He's giving up about 10 pounds to Karamata. As Jeff filling him out with uh, his famous kicks. That's right, Jeff Smith uh, starting off left side in front. Uh, he's moving a lot. Karamo Karimala with our uh, powerful right round kick and a one two combination, following up with a jab. Jeff Smith with his own left roundhouse kick. Notice Jeff Smith starting off uh, with his left side in front, as we, he mentioned earlier. Uh, he uh, has a cut on the front eye, uh, and at this point, he's now switched to southpaw. He's got his right side in front. We do seem to be feeling each other out. Jeff Smith with a back leg round kick. Now you're going to see a, a very different uh, Jeff Smith here in this fight, as his right eye was recently cut and is really not completely healed so he's going to have to uh he's going to have to favor that all the way through the fight he's not going to be able to take a hard shot on that otherwise that cut will open up so he's uh got his right side in front with a going with a lead off straight left Primala with a back leg roundhouse kick seems to miss jeff smith moves away seems you can to see be. jeff trying to set him up for one of those really powerful uh Back leg roundhouse kicks through throws, followed by an onslaught with a hand. Jeff is known as a very aggressive fighter and a very powerful. Ooh, solid front kick seems to have scored. They both seem to be kind of. There's a left landed by Smith. Nice combination for, uh, with uh, uh, from Kareem Ala seems to have been taken on the gloves. Jeff Smith with a front kick. Kareem Ala returns with a left jab. I was pretty in, uh, impressed with Kari Mala, uh, actually pretty uh, impressed with him taking this fight. And he's a, he's a real cocky guy, and as you can see, he's fighting with uh, quite a bit of confidence, which uh, says a lot for the man, as Jeff Smith is known as the most, uh, one of the most dangerous fighters on the planet. Yes, as we end round one, I would have to agree with that. Uh, for a showcase, what was supposed to be a showcase of Kari Mala, they got him a very tough fight. So I always have a lot of respect for somebody who uh, gets out there and uh, puts himself on the line against uh, a really great opponent, as opposed to, uh, you know, many fighters have uh, done the bum of the month uh, club uh, to try to build up their fight records and uh, have a lot of respect for, for it. So you can see the advertisement for the karate chop with the little girls on the ring. Uh, as the ring girls, uh, soon you'll see Grandmaster Jun Ri is also in attendance, and uh, she he is advertising the brand new, brand new product of uh, uh, mm -hmm. safety chop. Safety chop. Thank you. It's been and too many uh, years since I had. By, by the way, those things are very soft, so it's not much padding. So when these guys make uh, when they make contact, uh, it's going to hurt. Well, they did want to make the distinct difference between this and boxing, so they had them in what was now uh, recognized as karate uh, safety equipment. And Jeff Smith again lead with the uh, right side in front. Uh, tries a back leg round kick. Primala moves away. Primala has very active hands. His hand positions all over the place. He, he tries to time uh, Jeff Smith's kick with his right hand. He misses. He moves away from Jeff Smith's uh, front uh, front kick. Looks like uh, Kyle Romano has some pretty good footwork there. I hope it doesn't tire him out. This is an 11-round fight, by the way. And he's so got some strong kicks. It's a long way to go. This is true. He's got strong kicks. He's, uh, he's pressuring uh, Jeff Smith. Seems to be moving towards him mostly. Jeff Smith with it, that classic footwork. Smith with a back leg round, uh, back leg front kick. Allah moves away. Allah appears to be very confident. Uh, he's very pressing. confident. Prima Allah goes to the right side in front so he can throw a side kick and then he switches back to the left side. 
Jeff Smith with a front kick and a turn kick by Ala. Both missed. Jeff Smith with a hard back leg round kick. Just plants up the top of his head almost. almost a little somewhere. too close. Oh, round kick to the body by Kareem Ala as Jeff Smith moves away. There's that front kick in by Jeff Smith. He looks like he's looking for it and takes the straight left. And for, uh, the uh, counter by Ala uh, is taken on Jeff Smith's gloves. Jeff, oh, Jeff. that lead off straight left and a front kick by Jeff Smith. Yeah, Jeff and seems to be scoring more points. Uh, Ala seems to be missing most of his or on Jeff Smith's gloves. But uh, Jeff seems to be scoring uh, with regularity here. Jeff second. Smith was regularly um, hitting with that straight left, uh, the lead off left hand. He seemed to be uh, timing uh, Kareem Ala's uh, trigger squeeze and he was uh, getting off uh, just before Kareem Ala had a chance to uh, to react, hitting with that straight left, and also uh, trying to work that front kick in there. Yeah, I wonder uh, if uh, Curry Mile is going to hold up here. He's dancing around quite a bit, and uh, an 11 round kickboxing match is uh, really uh, you really have to have unbelievable endurance because you're kicking, and the kicking. Uh, not only does it do a lot of damage to the opponent, but it also takes a lot of strength and energy and stamina to continue to kick well, they for are a long period of time. Well, they are both uh, tremendously uh, conditioned athletes, uh, as we'll see. And Monji begins the uh, round three. Jeff Smith once again comes out right side in front. I got that front round, first round even mark, and I think. Uh, Jeff took that second round decisively. I would have to agree with you. Uh, Kareem Ala continues to pressure the fight. Jeff Smith moving away. Jeff Smith with a one-two and a back leg round kick. And then as that front kick score, who's uh, driving Kareem Ala backward? Yeah, uh, Kareem Ala is trying to use his size to his advantage, but really doesn't seem to be working on the world champion. Kareem Ala coming off the ropes, back into Jeff Smith, straight left once again. Yeah, Jeff keeps scoring points, and uh, uh, Kareem Ala, most of his shots are good, powerful shots, but they're landing on the gloves and arms of, of the champ. Glancing kick by Kareem Ala, glancing high kick to the head. Tries to jam Jeff Smith's front kick, but falls short. Jeff Smith is a really powerful You can see uh, the way he comes across furiously. What I always liked about Jeff Smith is his tenacity. Jeff Smith is not afraid of anyone. He is a true warrior. You can tell by the way he explodes across the line. There's nothing going to stop him once he gets rolling. Jeff Smith is back late round kick. Prima Allah moves away. Allah pressuring. Can he continue to move forward. Good front kick. Right that one Jeff got in Smith there. That was a score. That had to hurt. Jeff Smith is a very powerful kicker. One of the most powerful kickers in the world. Of deep. course, he can't kick harder than that. He's also very, he also has a very effective defense. His hand position allows most of Kareem Allah's uh, techniques to fall on his gloves, or uh, he moves away so that they uh, hit air instead of him. Jeff Smith with a good side kick there and at the end of the third round. Have to give that round to Smith too. He uh, scored a lot more points than than, than Ala, as most of Ala's blows fell on the gloves or on the arms of Jeff Smith. Yeah, as we see here, Jeff Smith uh, connecting with the front kick, and uh, he also connected with a side kick. I think he hit with a couple of front kicks and some lead off right hands. Most of Ala's uh, techniques, as you mentioned, uh, fell on Jeff's gloves or uh, they, Jeff moved away and made, made a miss. Uh, an exciting fight, good matchup. So far, Jeff Smith just has a little bit of an edge. Yeah, I've got him ahead by two rounds. Okay, Dr. Manji brings them together for round four of this historic fight brought to you by the Joe Lewis Fighting Systems. You have a family, you have a home here at the Joe Lewis Fighting Systems. Kareem Allah with a hard high sidekick, Jeff Smith moves away. 
Jeff Smith once again because of his cut has his right side in front. Jeff Smith with a back leg front kick. Uh, jams, Jeff uh, pretty much off with a front kick. Jeff Smith jams. Jeff Smith with his own front kick. Ala moves away. Jeff Smith, because of his movement, has, seems to be a very hard target to uh, get a bead on for Ala. As soon as he moves towards him, uh, Jeff Smith sees, seems to either jam him or move away. Yeah, the champ seems to have this pretty much under control, as you can see how, uh, how he's really watching very, very carefully every move that Ala makes, and he's not making a, an easy target. Is he's, he's continuously on the move, not giving Ala a chance to set anything up. Imala with a combination, one, two, back leg round kick, falls on Jeff Smith's gloves once again. Smith sizing up Ala, even though Ala has, seems to pressure. Smith with a furious combination as a counter. Jeff Smith straight, a good body straight shot left to the body, comes back with the hook, and he clears back out. Jeff's uh, landing uh, quite a few shots in the midsection. I think we're going to see that take its another, effect in the later another rounds. Another lead off with left hand. Seems to have his timing down. Another lead off left hand. And the, the, once again, the uh, counters fall on his glove. Another lead off left hand. And another left hand. And another straight left. Jeff Smith seems to have Kareem Ala down. And a front kick and another straight left. And another left. Oh, Smith Kareem is really pouring, on now, pouring it on now. He landed several of his blows. And particularly that front kick to the liver. Kareem Ala has got to be getting frustrated. Now, a left hand by Ala of his own. He's not backing down. He's still in this thing. He is still pressuring. And Jeff Smith again with two. Not seemed over. to have, over. Seemed over. have rocked him with that last left hand. He seemed to have staggered him just a little bit yeah, just I, at the bell. I think that overhand lift got in there. Well, Jeff Smith uh, seems to have established his dominance in this fight here. He seems to have Je uh, Kareem Ala's uh, timing down. And he uh, seems to be uh, pressuring the fight. He seems to be taking the, uh, uh, the fight to Kareem Ala a little bit more, taking up the pace a little bit more. And uh, I'd have to say Kareem Ala has got to be starting to get uh, kind of frustrated. Would you say, Mike? Yeah, I think he's getting a little tired. Uh, I think Jeff, Jeff landed a couple of pretty good body shots in that round. Uh, a, a front kick looked like he got in there. And also a couple of uh, uh, punches. And it, 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 as you look at the corner here, you can see that uh, Kareem is beginning to breathe pretty hard. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how long he can uh, take these very powerful kicks to the body. Uh, Kareem Al is obviously in excellent, excellent condition. He's really cut. And, uh, with the beginning of the fifth round, Jeff Smith leads off with two front kicks. Kareem Al comes back with a front kick and a round kick of his own. Both of them move away. And Kareem Al with a side kick. Once again, Jeff Smith still in that, in that southpaw position. It works pretty good with him. A solid front kick to the midsection of Kareem Ala. Round kick and then a side kick. Those kicks are really powerful. I can testify to that. I've been on the receiving end of a couple of them. <laughs> Jeff Smith, uh, known as an all-around fighter, a great kicker, great puncher, very aggressive uh, fighter. He can fight right leg in front. He can fight left leg in front. And he's in good shape. He's in tremendous conditioning, and he's had many, many... Uh, title uh, 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 defenses have gone well into the later rounds, and he's always outclassed his opponent. Looping right, uh, looping uh, left hand uh, on that one, uh, catches Primala on the uh, cheek. Jams his turn kick. Jeff Smith jams Primala's turn kick, hits him with a combination. Primala moving away. It looks like his legs are a little wobbled there now. It looks like oh, a, it was a hard straight left roundhouse kick for Jeff Smith. I think Kareem uh, Allah landed a. Spinning back this there, but it didn't seem to connect. When you add uh, all of uh, Jeff Smith's kicking and punching skills and his and his overall condition, if you add the fact that Jeff is just plain bad, he is a tough guy. Oh, a, a he is a, a fighter's fighter. He's the fighter's fighter. Believe turn me. kick into a spin hook kick. Beautiful combination by Jeff Smith. And Kareem Ala seems to be getting frustrated with a he throws a hard right hand. Uh, trying to even things up a little bit. He he's, uh, looks like he's uh, a little anxious to uh, try to even the score a little bit as he continues to pressure Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith with one, two, and then a sidekick. And Kareem Ali gets him in the corner, and Jeff Smith breaks his way out. <laughs> that was a good counter. By a lot. You see uh, he's putting his hands on his hips there. That's Clearly. a telltale sign that... Uh, He's slowly running out of gas. He's clearly frustrated. He seems to have gone back to the, the wrong corner. 
Uh, he's got to be frustrated. It seems like every time he, he starts to move towards Jeff Smith, he keeps beating that straight left. Uh, what, what do you think Freema Allah has to do here, Mike? Well, uh, he's already s stopped dancing a little bit. I think, uh, I think he's going to have to really uh, select his shots. He's going to have to slow down, quit wasting so much movement on these kicks, kicks to Jeff Smith because they're not landing and really, really try to set Jeff up for a big one because uh, Kari Mala has about 10 pounds weight on him and so he's probably got a pretty powerful punch going for him. So uh, I think that's gonna he's going to have to be settled down a little bit, not waste so much movement and concentrate on unleashing that strong right hand to try to connect with the DC bomber. Well, Jeff Smith. starting round six, we know that Kareem Allah does have knockout power. It uh, looks like at this point, with as many rounds as he's, he's given up to Jeff Smith, that's probably how, how he would have to uh, win this fight. Uh, exchanging kicks to start off with. Now Kareem Allah with his right, right side in front, and then uh, switches, and then winds up throwing a back leg, right, uh, right leg round kick. Jeff Smith still with his left leg in front. Seems to be working pretty good for him. Why change uh, the plan? When well, he's working. got to really keep that left leg in front because of the cut over his right eye. It's not going to take much of a punch to open that cut up. And, uh, so he has, it really has to protect against that more than anything. That's why his strategy is and style is a little bit different than you would normally see it. Because it's not to favor that eye. Well, we certainly know that Kareem Mala has the, the uh, skill to do uh, anything, including cut the guy, cut Jeff Smith open or end the fight with a single shot. So. Jeff Smith has to still keep him off balance, which he does with a furious combination. Good exchange. Great timing, beating him, to the, beating him to the punch as they hit the line. Jeff Smith with the lead off straight left, and they came back with a hook. Oh, and uh, this time he leads off with this, the uh, right, uh, the, the left hook. Jeff Sorry, Milo's ha hands are hanging. They're getting lower and lower, so Jeff Smith's body shots are starting to take effect. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for a straight left. You can lead off left, uh, and Kareem Allah's uh, counters fall on Jeff Smith's hands. hands hand, uh, Jeff Smith's hands position still solid. Kareem Allah, but Jeff Smith moves away. Kareem Allah follows. Yeah, yeah. Now, as you can see, Kareem Allah's gone almost exclusively, exclusively to, to hand techniques. He's dropped off his kicking at the, at the beginning of this fight. He did quite a few kicks. Now he's hardly kicking at all. Well, he's trying to land smart. that big he's shot. And he lands a big good, shot. hard right hand. Good right, another Double right strike. by Kalamala. And then Joe and Smith moves. The combination. Oh, right at the bell. Right, right at, at the, the bell. bell. Kareem Ala puts uh, everything he has into trying to take out Jeff Smith. He connects with a solid right hand and another solid right hand. Seems to lift Jeff Smith off off his feet and into the ring ropes. Smooth moves around and then clears himself out just before the end of the round. Yeah, I think that was uh, Karamala's most effective uh, attack it was to a this solid, point. It was a solid exchange right there at the end of the uh, uh, end of the round and uh, could very well have been enough to, uh, to give him that round. Well, let's see if it's affected Jeff Smith. If it, if it opened that cut or if it dazed him a little bit, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, Asa Gordon working with Jeff Smith in the corner. Uh, great uh, corner man, uh, classic uh, uh, fight trainer, uh, Asa Gordon. Asa Gordon, yes. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. All right, round seven. Jeff round Smith seven. Still with the uh, right side well, in front. Doesn't Start look like uh, Jeff was affected at all by those punches. He does seem to have good, strong legs underneath him. <clears throat> Jeff Smith is very focused. He's very, very focused on everything that Carmel is doing and just letting his punches and kicks uh, go into the air or on the arms. Uh, other than the, the close of the last round, I, I haven't seen Kareem Ala really land the hard shot. Jeff Smith's timing here is just impeccable. He seems to have him down. He uh, gets caught right in the middle of a spin, the spinning technique. Uh, gets knocked off his feet, but, uh, but uh, hops right back up again. Primala is still pressuring, but it seems to me he's uh, just like missed more or less laying a trap for him. Well, you can see, uh, as you can see, his kicks are out of gas. And Primala with his hands in very low position now. Seems to be uh, slowly moving in towards Jeff Smith, looking for that one single He's shot. lost a lot of his bounce, and his kicks have uh, faded, as you can see there. 
they're not really uh, there's not really power behind them anymore. They've, Maybe yes. he'll prove me wrong here, so uh, we'll see. He's in surprisingly good condition. Yes, that's uh, exactly. Uh, with Jeff Smith, is, is, is those punches he's landing on Carmelo, those are really hard shots, as well as those kicks are ultra hard shots. So, uh, you know, give credit to Carmelo for hanging in there. Carmelo with a continue with a good combination, back him up. He's got his hands on his his hips again, showing that frustration. Oh, it's solid ridge hand by Jeff Smith. Yes, it was. It made it straight too. left also. Primala, though, continues to pressure. It continues to move forward. Always pressing the fight. Tremendously uh, uh, conditioned uh, athlete. Obviously, he's taking a lot of really hard shots, so you know that he's quite durable. And at the end of round seven, Primala returning to the corner, and there's... The the great Jeff Smith being tended to by his entourage, Joe Corla, Corley, Asa Gordon, uh, Jerry Rome, and uh, I'm not sure who that individual is in the corner there. That Looks like Wally him. Slokey, the man who uh, fought Jeff Smith for the original uh, PK world title. Looks exactly like you. Manji of course, that was 32 years ago, and I'm, I'm getting a little fuzzy in the memory department. So. Manji comes over to, to uh, check uh, on uh, Jeff Smith. I guess uh, the cut is, does not seem to be any kind of a factor in this fight now. Well, so far it's not, but there's still plenty of time for Karim Ayala to land a solid or glancing shot on that, uh, shot on that eye. Some bell rounds uh, rings for round eight. Jeff Smith starts off with a lead off and straight left hand, timing Allah's uh, kick. He's landing those body kicks. They're taking its toll, I'm telling you. Bring Allah with a furious front kick across the line, still continuing to press the fight. Allah's not intimidated. He's another side kick by Kareem Still Allah. on the attack. Last round was a low intensity round for both of them, so they're probably coming back a little bit more fresh in this round. Primala with a right leg side kick that time, and he switches back left side. Jeff Smith continues with his right side in front, working quite well for him throughout the fight. There was a change that made because of the, the uh, cut on his left side, but it seems to be exactly what the doctor ordered for Primala. You see those roundhouse kicks? That one landed on the liver. Solid are, low kick, yes. Nice. Those roundhouse kicks are a lot more powerful than, than they look. And they are taking their toll, even the ones on Karamala's arms. I mean, these are very, very powerful roundhouse kicks. Karamala with a straight right hand. There's a, there's a shot Solid front kick by Jeff Smith. Smith with, with a hard hook and another ridge hand. Another hook. And Karamala drops his hand. And Jeff Smith takes full advantage of it. You don't Kareem drop Ola your hands with hands, Jeff Smith. Drops Jeff his hands in frustration, and Jeff Smith takes advantage. Primala finally putting his hands up to protect himself now. Jeff Smith uh, is also a very intelligent fighter, as you can see. Another straight left by Jeff, a good right by Primala. A hard right misses by Primala. Here comes Kareem. He's make, trying to come back. A one and a two. He's got heart. Another hard right hand by Primala. He's got hard. He's coming on very strong. Straight left by Jeff Smith. And Smith over in the corner. Primala continues to press. Good straight right hand. Primala came on strong at the end of that that uh, that round, Mike. Yeah, uh, I give I give Kareem that round. I'd have to say that uh, there's a little bit more in that uh, gas tank than we thought there was. Yes, he's got a lot of heart, and he's really coming back strong. Maybe he's getting a second wind. Uh, I'm looking here in the corner. They're working on. Yeah, he's tired, but who wouldn't be tired after uh, eight rounds of full contact? Yes, uh, the intensity was up a little bit more that round. Uh, both fighters uh, getting into furious exchanges. So uh, I know that had to take it uh, out of both fighters uh, that round, uh, heading into the ninth round. Uh, solid combination by uh, Kareem Mala here with uh, good counters by Jeff Smith. I, I look for Kareem Allen now to let it all hang out. I'm sure his corner told him that he was behind. 
and there's not much time left just three more rounds for him to make up the points or knock Jeff Smith out and starting off with round nine basically it's still the same fight Kareem Ala continues to pressure as Jeff Smith with that right side in front it's a good solid body kick by Kareem Ala Jeff Smith is still appears fresh he always seems to have those legs underneath him. A tremendous uh, conditioning, even well into the later rounds, when most people uh, uh, tend to uh, start walking. Jeff Smith is still skipping around. He's a tremendously a a trained athlete. Yes, he is. He's a, one of the best all-around fighters in the world. Conditioning, hand power, leg power, and just being outright mean. Well, Kareem, uh, Jeff Smith has shown uh, uh, that he can take advantage when uh, he smells blood in the water. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, this fight is not over for Kareem Ala. Kareem Ala continuing to move forward towards Jeff Smith with a good combination. Mm -hmm. He's not kicking anymore, but he's throwing some... Uh Oh, another straight oh, left. Oh, that was a and solid left uh, landed by Smith. Two solid straight lefts in a row. Oh, he's got his hands down again. Oh, another solid. He better body get his kick. hands up. Bring my lap. Presses Jeff and uh, Jeff Smith into the corner. Smith clears back out again. Bring my lap with his hands on his hips in frustration. Another solid body. Uh, I'm not so sure. That's just frustration. I think he's a little tired as well. And I think we'll be seeing Jeff Smith take advantage of it, like now. Uh -huh. Jeff Smith moving away. Kareem Ala continued to, to uh, move toward Jeff Smith, so he's got his hands down at this point. There's not a whole lot behind anything, just kind of coaching into the end of that round. I'd have to give that one to Jeff Smith also. Uh, Kareem Ala, near the end, began to show uh, his fatigue after this many rounds of hard fighting with the champ. Yes, his kicks are completely gone, but um, he's still dangerous because he has a, a very powerful punches. And there's her ring girl advertising the safety chop, June Ree safety chop, which was brand new at the time, probably less than two years old. Uh, I know I had my, my set of safety chops and safety punches and safety kicks back in the, back in the 70s. And, uh, it's, uh, this is a great historic footage because it puts you right there at the beginning. This is just one year after the first uh, World Professional uh, Kickboxing Championship that you promoted in uh, Los Angeles, California. Yes, this is one, just one year later. One year later where Jeff Smith, Bill Wallace, uh, and Joe Lewis, all three won their first uh, World Professional Kickboxing Championship. Also, there was a young man named Isaias Duenas from Mexico who won the light the first uh, lightweight world title. And moving into the round, in round 10 here, Jeff Smith with a hard round kick as uh, Kareem Ala throws his right hand. Kareem Ala with a hard round kick now to the body. I look to see uh, Kareem Ala begin to let it all hang out here. He doesn't have any choice because uh, obviously Jeff Smith's ahead on points. Kareem Ala seems to favor that right side in front for his side kick and switches back to the left side. Oh, a hard straight left by Jeff Smith and another follow-up left. Jeff Smith doubles up on that left hand effectively against Kareem Ala. Another straight left and then uh, the counters fall on Jeff Smith's gloves once again. Another greatly well-timed uh, straight left by Jeff Smith. And another straight left by Jeff Smith or a little more of a looping ridge hand actually to kind of hit uh, Kareem Ala on the side of the face and then there was another a left. one. He scored with that left coming in. Another Jeff Smith straight, scored again with the left. Another straight left. Carmel is looping his punches. And they're not getting in there. They're hitting, they're falling on uh, Jeff Smith's gloves. Scream all out, puts his hands on his, his hips, and Jeff Smith countered with a hard front kick to his midsection. Oh, there was a shot. Now, a straight left hand that landed solidly on on uh, Kareem Allah's jaw. He's tired. Kareem Ala with his hands up. Jeff Smith found the spot right down the middle and connected with a good, solid, hard, hard uh, straight left. So once again, Kareem Ala, I, I have to hand to him for being able to take the, as many hard shots as he has and still uh, still continuing to be standing. Uh, and he's even taunting Jeff Smith. Of course, Jeff uh, responds to the taunts with, uh, with blows to his face. So I don't think that's a very smart move. 
Yep, at this us. point, Karim Ala oh, should be trying to knock him out. That He's, front kick took it out of Karim Ala. That was tight. that could have been uh, all it took. Oh, yep. uh, posting into the end of the round, Kareem, uh, Jeff Smith finishes strong, and Karim Ala. Uh, He's wobbly. He is going to have to do a lot of recovering over the course of the next minute to, to uh, stay in this fight for the last round. Uh, solid uh, performance once again by Jeff Smith. Those kicks Jeff Smith have been, have been throwing have obviously taken their toll. As I said, they are very a lot more powerful than they look. Jeff is a very, very hard kicker. Ala seemed to be visibly shaken by that front kick right at the end. Seemed to have caught him right uh, near the solar plexus in the midsection, and uh, he seems to have, it seemed to have really taken its toll on uh, uh, Allah's uh, conditioning. Yes, uh, he was in trouble there at the end of that round. Well, Allah right now pretty much behind on the scorecards. Would have to come out and uh, try to knock Jeff Smith out here. Let's see if he has it in him uh, as the uh, the bell rings for the eleventh round. Got to give a lot of credit to Karim Allah. He came in here and took on the best fighter in the world at that weight class. And uh, it's a pretty brave thing to do. Well, and he's hanging in there and he's made it all the way through to the 11th round. I don't think that the pundits expected that. I, uh, they all, most of the insiders expect uh, an early knockout for Jeff Smith. And Karama yes. Still in there fighting in the left. Solid round. side kick. It's Jeff Smith off balance, and then Kareem Ala steps in with a one-two. Jeff Smith's head. He's got to knock him out. That's the only way uh, Kareem Ala can win at this point. I would, congratulations to Kareem Ala oh, nice for going 11 up. rounds with one of the most dangerous fighters on the planet. 